the dialogue. Remember, when you come to receive communion, there is a dialogue involved. There's a dialogue between you and the minister of the Holy Eucharist. The words are very important here. The minister would say, the body of Christ. Amen. And we respond with the word, Amen. And we do so for a reason, rather than saying, thank you. Oh, cool, the body of Christ. Thank you. And when we respond saying, Amen, we mean to say, yes, truly I believe this to be the body and blood and soul and divinity of Christ. And by saying yes, I also acknowledge and affirm the fact that I am the member of the mystical body of Christ. Reflective silence. After you receive the Lord in the Eucharist, we need to observe a moment of silence when we go back to our pews. Taking this time to thank our Lord Jesus Christ who has come into our hearts, it is a time to intimately dialogue with Him, thanking Him for this privilege. Now I'm touching upon some sensitive issue. Leaving after receiving the communion. Some of us are in the habit of leaving the church after receiving the Holy Communion. I'm not here or we are not here to judge why somebody should be leaving, but the actual time the mass ends is really when the priest or the deacon dismisses us saying, Go, the Mass is ended. Leaving before the Mass is ended is really not a Catholic way of celebrating the Mass. And it really shows our disrespect, irreverence, ignorance of the Mass, or just plain violation of what the Mass stands for. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be you. to God. The ideal time to leave after the Mass is when the priests and the deacons and the altar servers recess in procession. And once they leave, it is time for the faithful to leave the church as well. There are two clarifications I would like to make, however. Two questions people ask often. Are we allowed to drink from the cup? Yes. In the diocese of United States, we are allowed to participate in the precious blood. But during the pandemic or the flu season, which is dangerous, the diocese suspends the cups in order to keep everyone safe. The second question people have is, is there intention? Now, what is intention? Intention is the practice of dipping the consecrated host into the precious blood and then receiving the intincted host in Holy Communion. Well, is intention allowed? No, the communicant is not allowed to intinct the host in the chalice or the cup. 